Ross Mack. And I'm Andini. Welcome to the Finance Couch. Hey guys, I'm Ross Mack and I'm from the south side of Chicago. Now a lot of young kids don't have the same access to financial literacy and that's why I developed Maconomics. We're bringing Wall Street to Main Street and now we bring it to the campus. My name is Camille Klausner. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I got my first job when I was 15 and I had a job every year in the summer and so I would use that money to kind of you know, buy the things that I wanted. That kind of gave me a solid foundation on how to you know, kind of work with my money. But once I got to college, I started to realize it was a little bit harder because I was living on my own. And there was lots of things I was paying for out of my pocket that maybe in high school and when I was younger, I could ask for my parents' help with. But I've noticed that there's a lot of needs and wants, and I need to focus on the needs more than the wants, I think. Hello. Welcome to our finance couch. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. So what is something that I can do when I'm out with my friends to kind of avoid this issue of peer pressure and spending and spending too much on the weekends when I don't necessarily want to spend that much? What specifically are you feeling peer pressure to spend on with your friends? I think for me, mostly, there's a lot of wanting to go out and go out to nice restaurants and to eat. My friends are always wanting to try new places around LA. And while I love doing that, I'm really noticing the toll that it's taking on my bank account. Yeah. And so I was just wondering if you guys had any advice as to how to approach the conversation of like, hey guys, I don't know if I'm feeling up for this or spending this much money on that every single yeah. weekend. One of the number one financial problems is overspending, right? And I think, you know, when it comes to particularly overspending and some friends wanting to go out, wanting to spend more or eat at a really expensive dinner, I think you define one by budgeting what you're able to afford on a monthly basis. And at the moment that you get to the point that, hey, I can't afford this, you could actually say that. If your friends are always recommending these new expensive restaurants, you gotta be the person to every now and then throw in an affordable restaurant, yeah. right? The Taco Tuesdays mm -hmm. or it's $2 this or $2 wings. Like you gotta find the fun also cheap and then on, on some of those times when you are at that limit of going over your budget hey you know i got to study for xyz mm. i know that can be hard especially if you have friends that are maybe like coming from a more wealthy background and they want to do things that you might not necessarily be in your budget to do like those things can get kind of tricky i don't yeah. know what do you think peer pressure is just a function of not communicating too well with your friends and you feeling the pressure to uphold some false narrative. Like my true friends, I would never feel embarrassed to say I can't afford that, mm -hmm. right? But I'm down to meet up with y'all afterwards. But I think what's most important is just truly understanding what you're able to afford. Actually a great tool you can use is the Groove tool, which actually is gonna help you understand your inflows and outflows and actually help you set up some of those goals of trying to save more and just understanding, you know, where your money is going. And I think that will actually help you from one, overspending and also knowing where your limit is to ensure you're not being peer pressured into going into debt just to hang out with yeah. your friends. Awesome, well thank you so much for coming. Thank and you I guys hope this so was much. remotely helpful yeah. for you. It really was. So uh, don't make it look like I'm roasting my friends though. No, we They're great not. people, they just have expensive taste. Yeah. <laughs> for a while I thought that maybe I was the only one that felt this way about I was spending way too much money. But once I started vocalizing my concerns with some of my friends, I realized that I wasn't alone and they too were starting to feel a little bit uncomfortable with spending a lot of money every single weekend, every single night out, getting a bunch of appetizers and different foods when we could maybe be saving a little bit more. And so once I just started having those conversations with my friends, we kind of came up with, sometimes we'd be like, hey, we're not gonna go in on the appetizers if that's cool with you guys, but we would say that before we ordered the appetizers. I don't wanna like roast my friends, is that okay? No. <laughs>